Welcome to a video from thejustlife.com. In this video I'm going to show you how to install the Linux Subsystem 2 for Windows 10. So this is WSL. This is the version 2 of the Linux Subsystem that's available if you're on the Windows Insider Builds at 20H1. So you need to build, so you need build 18917 or higher to be able to install this and uh, I'm running on Insider Build here. You can do this pretty much all through PowerShell and uh, you need to get an app from the store. So the first part of it is a couple of PowerShell commands to enable it, then we're going to get the uh, Linux distro from the Windows Store, from the Microsoft Store, and then we'll be ready to go. So you're going to need an admin PowerShell window. So that's the command, let's get that in. Now it's going to ask me if I want to reboot, and I'm going to say no, because there's another command to do first. Okay. So I'll say no, and I'll do the next command. There's the second part of the command I need to do. So yeah, I'm going to do a restart now before I go into the store and get my distro. Okay, so I'm back up after the reboot. So now I'm going to go and find my Linux distro uh, from the Microsoft Store. I'm going to get uh, Debian, I think, but this you can choose whichever one you want. There's loads of them. So I'll get that installed. Okay, it's just installed now, so I'm just going to launch that and just go through the initial setup and then I'll go back to the uh, PowerShell to finish off the installation. So I'll give it a name. Let's go for Oh, I need a longer name for this. So let's give it a name and a password, something super secure. Okay, so I'm logged in here. There we go. Right, let's close that. Go to a PowerShell admin uh, prompt. Uh, I can set the language, so I can WSL. So that Debian is the name of my OS. And version 2. And I can just quickly check everything's okay. So there's my systems. So let's get one of the new Windows terminals. And there you can see I'm in the, um, the documents folder on Debian, running here on Linux, using the Linux subsystem too. So that's it, that's how I install it, nice and simple just a few steps and uh, there is another way you can go through add features in Windows but uh, I prefer to do it through the PowerShell way. Thanks for watching this video, you can find more how-to videos on the